what up m squad welcome back to the channel today you guys i am going to be doing a sit down video with you all um yeah so make sure y'all go and check out the video that i uploaded um well this is the next day so i did it yesterday so make it make sure you guys go and check that video out from v fresh i did like an unboxing amazon unboxing product review on v fresh make sure y'all go ask go check them out on instagram and facebook so today i'm going to be doing a sit down video <clears throat> basically going over my 2022 year it has been a rough year for me like y'all have seen in my previous videos with my health and 2022 has been an eye opener for me really in my personal life and just in life in general i've been going through a lot of ups and downs um i went through depression and just suffering through that and you know i thank god for my husband for being there from from the beginning through thick and thin um helping me out during my depression he has been really there for me and 2022 is i found out a lot of things um in my personal life that i would have never thought that i would have found out 2022 has taught me a lot um been going through some things some personal things and just finding out a lot of things um about certain people in my family that i would have never known would have happened but going into this new year i am going to be mainly focused on my husband and my children and that's going to be my primary focus uh, and my health my my health my mental health is going to be my primary focus going in 2023 um me and my husband has been talking and we just we just going to really focus on just us and our family our children that's going to be our main focus going in 2023 focusing on us and our family um is it has been a lot you guys it's been a lot wearing down heavily on me and it's just like so i prayed about it i did i did a fast about it and i was like you know what it's just time out for foolishness life is just too short and for foolishness and you know sometimes we get to the point to where we self-sabotage and we allow others to come into our personal space to bring in foolishness, thinking that that foolishness is going to bring y'all closer together, not even realizing the foolishness that they are creating is driving us apart. So going in 2023, um, I'm not going to continue in the foolishness. I'm just going to continue on focusing on my children, my family, my mental health in my mental stability because like i said life is too short people are dying left and right i'm seeing so many news articles and videos of black women and children and teenagers and they taking their lives and someone else is taking their lives and friends thinking that they are friends and they going places they going on trips and they they not even coming back and you thinking that these are your friends, your so-called friends, and they're not even your friends. It, it, it's, it's just crazy how the dynamics of friendship and family have changed over the course of a year. It seemed like since COVID happened, a lot of mental health has been on the rise from women and from children and teenagers and black men and it it it, it seemed like it has shifted us 
into negative waves. Some people have been shifted to positive. A lot of people have been shifted to negative. And I am no longer living in that negativity. I am taking it like a grain of salt. And I'm just going to brush off my shoulders and just keep it pushing. Because my mental health is number one. Forget everybody else, but my mental health is number one. If I'm not good for myself, I'm not going to be good for nobody else. And that's just on period. Um, it's like, you know... You try hard to build relationships with loved ones and you trying to get past foolishness and it seems like foolishness keeps sinking in. So, and I'm glad that I have, um, I have a big sister, not biological, but I call her my big sister. Well, I got a couple of them, <clears throat> but, um, I talk to her on a weekly basis, sometimes two, maybe three times out the week. And she just opened up a lot of things to me and made me realize a lot of things. A lot of things that I realize about myself and a lot of things that I can control and a lot of things that I can't control. So the things I can control, I'm going to definitely be going to be working on those. And the things that I can't control, they just out of my hand. And I'm not going to be focusing on the things that I can't control. I'm going to be definitely focused on the things that I can control. Because those are more important to me. Sorry, you guys. My nose is running. <clears throat> I'm still recovering, you guys. Ugh. This year, <clears throat> me being sick and then having issues with my gallbladder. Oh, my God. And, you know, I still have to go see a GI. So, the update regarding that is I have to go see a GI specialist. So, they can figure out what's going on. It's nothing, like, serious, but it's just, like, it's a lot, it's TMI, to be honest. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just, like, so, we are needing a vacation, so... Uh, <clears throat> we definitely going to be focusing on that as well. But it's just like, for the past couple of days, it's like, and last week had a situation, but you know, the most high worked that out. He worked that out for us, my family. He turned that around real quick, and I am so glad because the other situation that I would have went into, it wouldn't have been a good look. And I'm glad that. I declined that real quick. But, um, so it's, I um, am on the positive, even though I have been sick. Um, I feel a whole lot better than what I was. Cause when I found out that I had COVID again, I was like, Lord, I can't go through what I went through previously with COVID because that was absolutely a no-no. So this time around, it's just like a little cold. You know, I feel like the little chills, you know, just flu-like symptoms, but it wasn't as bad as it was last time. Excuse me. A lot of coughing, sneezing. <clears throat> My voice still ain't 100%, but it's getting there. So... I said, let me go ahead and just do a sit down video just to get some things off my chest. You know, sit down. I've been seeing a lot of people just really going through it. And, you know, sometimes it pays for us to just to sit down, talk to someone that you feel comfortable talking to, or even just doing a sit down video like I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> just getting some things off your chest just to clear the air on some things. And there's nothing wrong with that because it's helping you with your growth. It's helping you with your mental stability. It's helping you to move forward and push forward. You know, <clears throat> not getting any younger. I'm getting older. And, you know, it's just time out for foolishness. It really is. It's just really time out for foolishness. And I'm over it. I've been over it. And... Um, I just thank God for my husband. You know, we went through a lot um, when we got together, you know, um, on both our ends. So it's just like, but you know, the Lord seen us through that, you know, a lot of forgiveness and took place and, 
you know, we move on past a lot of the foolishness that happened. You know, when you're, you, when you're young and you, you think you know it all, you're moving fast, and sometimes things tend to go left field. But as you get older, you have children, and you realize a lot of things, and you, you come to the realization, you take accountability for your actions on both ends, and it's just like, you know, life is too short. Life is really, really short. Tomorrow is not promised to no one. To not, tomorrow is not promised. Tomorrow, don't think about your age. Tomorrow, don't think about who you are. Tomorrow, don't think about your status. Tomorrow, don't think about whether you're female or male. Tomorrow, don't think about whether you got a life to live. Tomorrow, don't think about... You, your money that you may have in your bank account or the money that you don't have. So tomorrow is not promised to no one. Tomorrow do not discriminate. Life does not discriminate at all. Life is not prejudice. Life doesn't hate. So, <clears throat> life will continue with or without you. So, that being said, you know, I just wanted to get on here and just to talk about some things. I may do another sit-down video. I may do a part two to go in more in-depth of things. Um, I am going to be doing some story times. <laughs> some funny ones and some that's not so funny ones. Because I want to get it out there. You know, some people may be able to relate to what I've been going through or what I have been through. Or... You know, I can give you some tips or some things that I try to overcome certain situations in my life. So, um, I just want to get in here and just do a quick video. Um, I am looking forward to what this year has to bring. Um, so, I am, I do want to do a little bit more vlogging this year. Um than what I did last year. Oh, oh, you guys, I got some of my big moles removed on this side. Um, you may not be able to see it, but there was some big, big, big moles that I had on this side and on this side. So I got those removed because they kept getting bigger and bigger. Um, I even got a mole removed right here. You can still see the little mark on it. But it was a big mole right there because I couldn't wear necklaces and sometimes the stuff get caught up and it just, it bleeds and it was just painful and they just starting to itch real bad and they got like real hard. So I was able to get those moles removed um, through my insurance. I didn't have to pay nothing. It was covered through my insurance. So it was painful because they had to numb my face. They had to put a knee on my face. I was like, oh my gosh but the um uh, <clears throat> so he got the little scalpel and then he removed the little moles i was in pain for a couple of days it felt like my face was just I, that's how i looked it for a couple of days even though i didn't look like that i felt like i looked like that it was just like <clears throat> so anyway <laughs> But that's how my face felt, you guys. So I had to get those removed. Um, there's still some more. There's a name for these, but I want them all to be removed because they starting to like itch real bad. But they did test it to make sure there's like no skin cancer or nothing like that. So that came back negative and all that stuff. I wasn't worried about that. But <clears throat> but anywho, so I got those removed and. Yeah, and I also went to the ear, nose, and throat doctor. So basically, they told me I just got like vertigo and stuff like that. That's why I've been hearing like that ringing in my ears. So I'm not sure whether or not anybody go through that with the ringing in your ears. You may need to go to the ear, nose, and throat doctor. I thought, I didn't know they can, you know, well, it's ringing in my ears. So, ear, nose, and throat doctor. But they basically told me what that was about. So, yeah, um, I'm just happy. I'm happy. Um, I thank God that I got a man in my life that take care of his family. 
you know, looking out for his family, put his family first, and just really looking out for us, you know, even though we may hit hard times, trying times, you know, he still take care of his household, so, um, thank God for that, and just stay tuned to some more videos, you guys, if y'all got some video, video ideas, make sure y'all drop those videos down in the comment section. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that little red subscribe button. It only takes nothing but a couple of seconds, okay? Just to hit that subscribe button. And make sure you turn on your post notification bell to all. So you'll be notified when I upload new content to this channel. And also, you guys, please do me a big favor. Go subscribe to our family gaming channel, Rich, R-I-C-H, Nix, N-I-X, and Family Gaming Channel. That's the name of it. They are on YouTube. They are on Facebook, all the social media platforms. And if you guys go over there, make sure you hit the comment button, um, section and let them know that me and Mommy are 3 sent you guys over there. They are lit over there. Almost monetized on Facebook, you guys. So, make sure y'all guys go over there and support this, um, the YouTube channel. <clears throat> I did have, I did share one of, um, a couple of videos on my community tab. So, make sure you check out the community tab. You can click there. It'll take you directly to the channel. Y'all can go and subscribe. And also, if you want to join the family for exclusive content. Y'all can go and support your girl, support your girl. All of the information is in my About Me section and it's also in the description box of this video. Go support. I can make exclusive content where I can be able to share y'all exclusive things over there. Not like I do on just my regular videos. It'll be exclusive content. So if you want to support, go over and support your girl, okay? All right, so I hope y'all love this video. Make sure y'all stay tuned. All right, peace.